Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and today I have come up with a very amazing problem from the radiation. And uh, guys, this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together. And name of this problem is uh, radiation of parallel plates. Guys, my current courses uh, on Unacademy are INPHO Foundation and J Advance uh, uh, 2023. And uh, this is for uh, 10th moving to 11th uh, uh, students and advanced problem solving course for JE Advanced 2021 and uh, advanced GT for uh, JE Advanced 2021 in a special classes it is happening this is free of cost anyone can uh, attend these uh, uh, tests and uh, advanced course for JE 2022 in Hindi and English will start from uh, 20th and 23rd April respectively you can access my theory courses which are of advanced plus plus levels uh, for boosting your uh, JE preparation. You can unlock uh, courses on an academy or uh, wherever it is prompting for some passcode or invite code. You can use my code uh, Nitin sir. And uh, for more information you can visit www.unacademy.com and guys trust me physics will never be the same again. So here is the statement of uh, this problem. Two large black plates of area A uh, are oriented parallel to each other and uh, are maintained at temperature Ti and Tf. Now, if n identical black black plates are uh, slotted between them or placed between them, numbered from one to n from left to right. So this is one plate here, and this is another plate between them. N plates are uh, kept here, one to n and uh, they are asking uh, with the first plate being closest to the plate with the temperature ti so here temperature ti you can uh, see here and uh, the final one is tf n plates are placed uh, here they are asking uh, define the net heat flux transferred between the adjacent plate at steady state and the temperature of jth plate in the n intermediate uh, plates so here as you can see the diagram there are two plates and in between there are n black uh, plates are uh, placed here let's say in steady state their temperatures are t1 t2 t3 and and so on up to tn so total there are uh, n plus 2 number of plates uh, so here concept wise we can see for a system of parallel plates in thermal equilibrium or in steady state we can say the net rate of heat flow will be same across all the plates guys this is a very nice equation and very uh, quick answers it can give uh, give to us in such cases so in steady state whatever net amount because this will release some heat this will release some heat overall net heat transfer uh, uh, we are discussing here that is going to be H and in steady state that H is going to be same everywhere. So I am dividing these uh, plates into different regions region 1, 2, 3, 4 and like this there are going to be N plus 1th region this is Nth region here. So uh, net heat uh, transfer here uh, if I am writing here let's say that is H. So H value I can write between uh, these two Ti and T1 plates Sigma A Ti to the power 4 minus T1 to the power 4 we are using uh, Stephen's law and uh, I am assuming because they are given as black plates so I am using emissivity as 1 that is the equation in region 1 similarly for region 2 I can write T1 to the power 4 minus T2 to the power 4 and like this I can do for all other regions also here I am writing for jth region you can see for region 4 uh, this is coming as uh, T3 to the power 4 minus T4 to the power 4 and uh, here I can say H is equal to sigma A T to the power 4 J minus 1 minus Tj to the power 4 that is for the region uh, uh, J and for region N plus 1 at that means uh, these two plates I am talking about this H is going to be sigma A T n to the power 4 minus T final to the power 4. Now if you add all these uh, equations you will see uh, very beautifully these terms are going to get cancelled. Now they are going to get cancelled here and finally this also will get cancelled. So uh, total n plus 1 number of equations are there so n plus 1 times h is equal to sigma a ti to the power 4 minus t final to the power 4 and from here h value I can find out this is the net heat flux or you can say uh, net rate of energy transfer from one plate to another plate here. 
I hope this part is uh, clear to you. Once I know this uh, value of H, I will perform the same thing for uh, Tj temperature of jth plate. I will add only up to j lines or first j equations I am going to add. So when I do this, uh, you can see here, this will become jh and all these terms are going to get cancelled. So my equation will become j times h is equal to sigma a ti to the power 4 minus tj to the power 4. And here if you substitute the value of h and uh, simplify lot of terms are going to get cancelled and tj i can take uh, separately that is going to be if you simplify ti to the power 4 minus j times uh, ti to the power 4 minus tf to the power 4 divided by n plus 1 further if i simplify i am going to get temperature of jth plate is going to be n plus 1 minus j times ti to the power 4 plus j times t final to the power 4 by n plus 1 this is going to be my final answer for this question and uh, this is how you will deal with parallel plates in uh, radiation i hope you have enjoyed this uh, concept and uh, problem as well uh, it's a very important application as far as uh, je advance is concerned because uh, radiation has uh, like uh, very frequently questions have come from this topic so i hope this part is clear to you and i'll be coming up very soon with another problem please leave a like uh, share it with others and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it thank you